Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross, who is, of course, overseeing the 2020 census. He recently stated, quote, while there is widespread belief among many parties that adding a citizenship question could reduce response rates, the Census Bureau's analysis did not provide definitive empirical support for that belief. Kathy Feng, your response. Um, it's just a false statement. Um, the Census Bureau had studies that were presented to them um, both coming from internal staff and also from outside that said that there was going to be a significant drop off. Um, and when we're talking about not just a few hundred thousand, but um, several million, um, you have to wonder about what the motives are for adding that question. We have recent evidence that has just been introduced into court uh, on Friday that there were communications between high level Census Bureau staff, the chief of, of uh, staff for the census director, communicating with Thomas Hoffler, this Republican strategist who had laid out a plan for how you could do redistricting in a way that would be advantageous to Republicans and whites, saying that the only way to do that was to add a citizenship question to the census form and having a direct communi communication between Thomas Hoffler and the chief of staff, Krista Jones. Krista Jones writing to Thomas Hoffler to say, hey, we're starting to do some testing in 2015 and maybe you want to mention this citizenship question, right? There is clearly an effort that there is an intent to try to put a finger on the scale of census and ultimately redistricting so that instead of it being even and balanced and reflecting every single American in this country, that instead they want to skew those results and they want to skew the outcome of the, of the redistricting process.